Hi, I'm Phil McLeod. I'm a sort of retired journalist, longtime editor of the London Free Press. I started The Londoner. Now I write a daily blog on civic affairs here in London. Well, a blogger, as you know, is simply uh, somebody who writes uh, on the internet on a regular basis. I started doing that after I left the, the Londoner a couple of years ago. I'm a writer, and I was wondering what I could do to sort of keep myself busy in retirement. I go to city council meetings on a regular basis, so I started writing about civic politics here in London, which is something I've done fairly regularly in the Londoner. Well, I got right into it, and now I write every day from a cloud report. How do you get into writing? I get asked that question a lot by young people. How did you get started, they ask me. Well, I got started by practicing writing when I was in high school. I started going to things, and that's what you need to do too. Go to things and write about them. Go to a school board meeting. Go to a special event at your school. Go to a hockey game. Go to a city council meeting. Go everywhere, write about it, write, write, write. I was fortunate in having a high school teacher when I was in grade 10 who took a particular interest in me. She introduced me to two really interesting things in my life. One was politics. Among the people she introduced me to personally was Mike Pearson, who was then the Prime Minister of Canada. And she introduced me to the newspaper business. She was, in her spare time, also the editor of the little weekly newspaper in Nanton, Alberta, where I grew up. And I started working there when I was still in high school as what they called a printer's devil. And she helped me through my entire early stages of my career, giving me advice, making suggestions on how I was writing, correcting my spelling and grammar, which was really important, helping me understand sort of the big picture of things. And, and more than any other person in the world, Dorothy Dowen had a stamp on my career that I will never forget. Uh, I, to be a successful journalist, I think you have to do, have a couple of things. You have obviously to be able to, to, to communicate um, a, a subject matter in, in, in some fashion, on the newspaper and broadcasting, but you have to be able to communicate that. I happen to be a pretty good writer. But secondly, you have to have a really good curiosity. You have to be able to look at any situation and see a dozen questions that you could ask. In journalism, what they tell you is there's never a dumb question. All kind of dumb answers, but there's never a dumb question. I certainly have an abiding interest in the political process and particularly how or how not, as is often the case, it engages people. I write an awful lot on my blog about how people could get involved, should be getting involved, and how often the politicians pay us no attention. That really kind of ticks me off, and it's one of the things that sort of drives my current interest in, in civic affairs in, in particular. I don't really like the idea of, of, of sitting back and, and, and doing nothing. So when I sort of had reached the end at the Londoner, I retired there when I was uh, 67 years old, I decided oh, there's other things I wanted to try, so I've taken up making films. I'm, I'm working on one right now. I write my daily blog. I'm looking at a, maybe uh, doing some things on radio. I just like to learn new things and try new ways of communicating with people. And I don't think I'm ever going to retire. I really don't want to ever retire. I'd like to sort of keep on doing things for the rest of my life.